today we're going to be talking about what you can do yourself and how to save some money. And one of the first things you want to do is take all this dirt and pile it off the car. Pollen is like the worst thing all over this country. It gets embedded into the clear coat. So what do you do? You want to find a car wash. Number one, never, ever, ever use dish soap. Dish soap is for dishes in the house. What you want to use is a car wash designed for cars. This is McGuire's Ultimate Wash and Wax, but you still have to put a real good coat of wax on. This is where I want to start and show you how to clean a car. Remember, start from the top, work your way down. Never do it any other way. And here's a tip, don't wash your car in the sun. The sun will cause water spots. Wash it in the shade. It's a lot smarter way to go. Don't forget to rinse off the chamois off and you want to get the dirt you picked up back at the bottom of the tub. Unless you buy something from like Griot's Garage, which is a little bit more expensive, that will actually separate the dirt from the water. That's something to consider if you're really serious about doing this on a regular basis. This McGuire's Ultimate Wash and Wax really gets soapy. So before you go and do the whole vehicle, make sure you rinse it off. So that's what I'm going to do next and then go to the other side. You want to get that pollen off because that's the stuff that damages your paint and impacts the value of your vehicle. You can see already that just doing one side of it, there's a difference. The water already repels off the paint. That means that the Meguiar's is doing a really good job. They've been around a long time. So if you haven't used their products, certainly check them out. You can get them in any big box store or mass merchandiser, or of course an auto parts store or online. 